on the screen I have a swarf toolpath and this is uh, cutting a surface with uh, a reasonable amount of undercut on the side so as the tool comes around here it moves into an undercut situation and because it's probably been roughed in three axes this is probably taking an excessive amount of material away now swarf toolpaths allow a step down so you can step down to machine the material uh, a little more forgiving so we're taking a smaller cut on the tool um, but what a lot of uh, people have asked for is the ability to actually step over rather than step down and this is not possible uh, with the general swarf toolpath so we've created a macro which allows you to convert a swarf toolpath uh, and will essentially machine it in a series of thicknesses so if I select this toolpath and go to the user menu and step over using an incremental thickness so we're going to give a start thickness of six millimeters an end thickness of zero and a maximum depth of cut of one so this macro is going to uh, essentially produce a series of toolpaths and then append them all together giving a thickness type step over rather than a step down so it will probably produce about six or seven segments as we go along and there we have the resultant toolpath okay so it makes a very clean cut on the side of the part if I just uh, play that quite quickly there takes cut one let me escape I'll just use the control and shift keys and the up arrow and then it steps into the part rather than stepping down now you could do exactly the same thing if you wanted with a step down swarf toolpath let's run the same macro on that user step down using thickness I'll use a start thickness of three and then thickness of zero and a step of one so this is going to be stepping over and stepping down there if you zoom in quite closely you can see it takes a cut at a three millimeter thickness it will take five cuts then it will take another five at a one millimeter thickness and then another five and a zero millimeter thickness so that's swarf toolpath that's one of this macros uses now let me just uh, change la layers and this is a, a mold hot runner so if I just do a solo on this and if I just display a pattern showing the bottom of the runner so quite often with runners uh, people will not model them they'll simply create the wireframe because it's much easier but how to machine that wireframe safely when here we have the initial surface so we want to cut safely from this surface to the bottom of the runner now some people will use a standard pattern machining toolpath so here I've got a pattern uh, I've got a curve on the part edge and I'm making an axial offset of minus 6.3 uh, in this particular case but I've got multiple cuts uh, with a step down of one millimeter now that's okay for runners on a flat surface but it's not good when on an incline and we've got an incline on these runners let's just view down here so the final cut is absolutely fine you'll see that it runs along the bottom of the runner no problem whatsoever the big problem is the first cut if I attach the tool here so on the flat region it's fine it's just cutting the surface but as we go down here the surface edge is, is here so this is where the stock lies this outer edge and you can see that here we've got a really heavy cut we're cutting from here to here it's too heavy um, so the user is going to be have to be very very careful with feed rates in areas such as this 
So instead, I'm going to start with a very simple toolpath actually on the surface. So this is just using a pattern toolpath, but it's touching the surface. And then I will run the same macro that we did for the swarf toolpaths. I will step over using incremental thickness. But this time, instead of starting with a positive thickness, I'll start at zero. And I'll go down to the maximum possible negative thickness for this tool, which the macro tells me is minus 6.27, depth of cut 1 millimeter. Uh, and instead of doing a Z step down, it's going to do a surface normal step. So each step will be normal to the surface rather than a step down the Z axis. So this will give me a much more satisfactory result. The end cut will be exactly the same, but the start cut will be very gentle, just cutting a constant amount of material each time. So the resultant toolpath is here. If I display the part edge, I hope you can see it. Let me just uh, zoom in, sorry, go to the side. Zoom in here. So here is the part. If I attach the tool over here somewhere, you can see that that first cut is just making a very gentle one millimeter cut into the surface whilst the last cut is running along the bottom of the hot runner. So a useful macro for both uh, stepping down typically with pattern toolpaths uh, with a series of thicknesses or for swarf toolpaths where we step over using a series of thicknesses.